Morning from the ongoing pandemic to the political drama of the past few days and weeks. It's been a year, so we want to help give you a little break from it all this morning. That is why we are so thankful for Chuck Lofton. Earlier this fall, Chuck had the opportunity to travel to northern Michigan to check out some incredible places and meet some great people. This morning, he's giving us a sneak peek of his latest big adventure. Oh, Carlos, thank you, Julia. Thank you. You know, folks, uh, we've all known that we have not been able to travel much this year, so we took the trip for you, and we want to share a little bit of what you'll see all next week on 13 Sunrise. Check it out. One look around, and you realize this place is special. Thousands of Hoosiers go to northern Michigan every autumn, but this year was a no-go for many. That's okay. We took the drive and you're coming along with us. So here we are in the middle of autumn with the rain falling, the wind blowing in the middle of the Straits of Mackinac, but we're on our way to a good time. First stop, Mackinac Island and the 147-year-old Grand Hotel. I see these people pull up on the horse taxis, and it's the same reaction from everybody. They look up and just go, wow. That's my favorite thing is the oh wow when they see the hotel, when they see the interior of the hotel. Wow. Yeah. Now, if you could see my face. <laughs> if. If you could see my face, my jaw would be dropping. Sure, sure. If I can keep them under the roof for a couple days, they'll unplug and unwire and say, okay, where do you get one of these horse rides? Where do I get a bicycle? I always think, ha ha, we got you. <laughs> You'll see what makes this tiny island's fudge the best in the world. And we'll answer the question, what's the deal with Mackinac Island's 500 horses that get you from point A to B slowly? It's something you just learn to live with and you actually get to enjoy it. Be amazed with a place that literally defies gravity. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Ride along with us through the stunning tunnel of trees with stops at a world famous general store and a funky gallery that celebrates of all things, pumpkins. 11 years ago, we started the Great Lakes Glass Pumpkin Patch and consequently, it's become a thing, it's an event. Lie with us over the most breathtaking lighthouses on the globe, some of which are operated by volunteers. Uh, the romance of it, I guess, you know, it has a romantic aspect to it, it you know, it, and you think about the isolation and the waves and the wind, uh, just the tall tower and being able to go up there. We'll get sand in your shoes and possibly in your eyes as we ride through dunes reminiscent of the Baja. <laughs> And school is in session at a special place where Santa's helpers from around the world oh, 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 oh. tune up <laughs> their jolly talents. Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty darn good, Chuck. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, <laughs> you'll meet the people of this beautiful region. Where did all this sand come from? How many truckloads did it take to bring this <laughs> sand in? And, so. and find why their personalities draw visitors from around the world. Thank you. This is awesome. Thank My you. pleasure. Blessings. Absolutely. Bon appetit. See ya. Bye, guys. Hey, we've all been social distancing, but it doesn't mean we can't have fun. We're going to take you far, far away. It's all part of Chuck's Big Adventure. My big adventure kicks off Monday right here on 13 Sunrise with more on Mackinac Island and the Grand Hotel. Now, you can follow along all week as well online at WTHR slash, hold on, WTHR.com slash big adventure.
One more time, WTHR.com slash Big Adventure. Oh, so looking forward to that. And I, that's one place I've never been that I'm mm. so looking forward to and visiting. it's so valuable right now because I'm looking at that with, and I'm saying I'm taking my family up there immediately because it's so beautiful. And you don't have to get on a plane. You jump in the car and you, you jump head in the up car there. and you drive. And because northern Michigan, and we learned this in the election, it's socially distanced because ain't nobody living up there. <laughs> uh, but it is just beautiful and breathtaking. And, you know, I, I was asked, which one of these pieces is your favorite? I think they all are, yeah. but I think you're going to love it. So next week right here on Sunrise. Looking forward to it, Santa Claus in training. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give you a sneak peek because you're up early. When we do our Santa Claus piece, three of the Santa Claus students are from Sullivan's Hardware oh, in Indianapolis wow. yeah, at this world-famous school. Yeah, so it's going oh to be fun. Oh, my gosh. Well, we 